Hello everyone, Reggie Time here and before we get started on today's topic, which is players not putting enough thought into their games when playing at the tables, I'd like to just restate my intention of going on the ground again, I'd like to just restate my intention of getting the channel to hopefully 1000 subscribers by Christmas, which is um, a nice goal to have of mine, and invite you all to hopefully hit the like and share buttons below the video. Um, I don't make anything from the channel, it's not my intention to make anything from the channel, and I don't intend to try, try and monetize it in the future. It's just like an old man's pleasure, and I like to see the content I create doing well, with lots of thumbs up, lots of shares, and hopefully in, in future they'll increase my views, and I'd like to get to an average of like four or 500 views per video, that type of thing, and we can only do that if hopefully people make comments, people hit the thumbs up, people share them. Um, the more you guys get involved, it seems the better the videos do in terms of number of hits, which is, it just makes me feel good. So if you can get involved in that way, please do. Um, so without further ado, let's get on to today's subject, which is players not thinking much when they're playing. And, and that's kind of like, it's a, it's a bit of a vague topic. It's more to do with like not thinking much and the speed at which people play. And um, this might not apply to you. If it doesn't, if you already take your time and put tons of thought in when you're playing, then fine, you can just end the video now. But um, I'd wager that it probably does apply to you if you're like a losing microstakes player, break even microstakes player listening to this. Um, I think there's a good above average chance that you probably rush hands pretty constantly and rarely think too much about hands outside of how your holdings are actually connecting with the board and whatever standard lines you've devised for like your betting frequencies or your sizings etc i can't imagine too many of the guys who are struggling are putting too much thought into into that side of their game um i know this because a method i often use when helping players to work on their game is video reviews i'll ask them to record a session of them playing their normal grind, whatever that is, four tables, six tables, two tables, it doesn't matter what it is, I just want to see them in their natural habitat, doing their normal thing, playing their natural game. And with any doubt, the thing that I see most often that can be improved upon really easily is players like snap bedding or snap checking or snap folding, when really there isn't a good reason to avoid taking more time to consider like the hand that, the, that they're currently involved in. Um, I understand that like back in the day when speed poker didn't exist and we were all mass tabling to get volume in, playing quickly and having the vast majority of our decisions standardised, was it was really necessary. It's not what you could do if you're 14 tabling on stars and you've got things popping up left and right. You don't have time to um, to think about what's going on in the hand and, and, and get in the tank a little bit. But um, for most of us now, that scenario doesn't really exist anymore. There's plenty of us, if not most of us, are playing speed poker games with like reasonable time banks. Or maybe we're just playing like two to four regular tables trying to learn the game with like a lot more time available to us than we're actually bothering to use. Um, this problem essentially just comes down to autopilot. It's a pretty dreadful habit, particularly when your autopilot game isn't that good. Um, you'll know that I have numerous leaks in your autopilot game, various sizes, and it can be a whole host of things. See, betting too much, checking too much when we're like whiffing three bet pots or whatever. And maybe we'll stab too many category two hands, like adding up pocket eights on queen xx, that type of thing. The list is it's incredibly long and it's certainly not exhaustive there that I've just mentioned. Um, but none of them will likely be costing you like too many large pots. So when it comes to like your session review at the end, you'll barely notice them, you'll barely notice. Um, than when you're doing like your post session review and many players don't even review sessions on a regular basis which is another much larger league altogether that I'm probably going to cover sometime in the future when I've had time to like collect my thoughts on it properly um, but yeah reviewing sessions if you're not doing it start now and start doing them properly start making them meaningful but that's that's for another day um, I'll often ask a player why they acted so quickly in a spot that warranted some care and attention and usually They'll become quite sheepish at this point and they'll either make some weak justification of them or well, I always do this, whatever it is I did in this spot, um, in this situation. Or sometimes they'll be more honest and they'll just admit that they didn't actually know what to think about. So they just played their own hand at face value rather than considering the opponent's range or the board texture or what have you. Um, we're not going to get into what to think about in certain spots today. Um, it's an incredibly broad subject that's... It's like way too vast for, for this type of video. These are meant to be short pieces of work intended hopefully just to get players thinking more about how this topic in question like affects 
what they're doing on a daily basis. But one thing I will say is every time you have a spot where you act quickly because you don't know what to think, or you don't know what to think because it seems like a standard spot to you, you're almost certainly reducing your win rate in some way, for sure. Um, Set so it to standard C bet for you in a situation, whatever you'd normally see bet. Do you really need to mash half pot, which I see tons of people doing them like, oh, C bet, bang, half pot, or C bet, three quarters, whatever your standard size is. Um, do you need to just make it your standard size? When when you've got a value hand, could you perhaps make it slightly bigger and get called by a similar range? Um, when you're bluffing, if the board's a particular texture, could you make it slightly smaller and still get folds from the part of your opponent's range that you're trying to make fold? Almost all situations, in my opinion, are worthy of way more care and attention than many struggling and losing micro states players give them. So next time you find a possession, you should really try and make it your goal to take more time and improve your in-game thought processes. When you find a situation that you don't know what to think, then great, bingo. You've actually found an area of your game that needs work, which you can then go ahead and work on between sessions. There really isn't that much of an excuse for acting within a couple of seconds on 90% plus of your decisions. So you should really think about stopping doing it today and then watch your win rate, red line and confidence soar as a result. And hopefully you get up through the limits eventually. Um, I think that's about all for now. I don't want to make these videos too long. Um, and hopefully it will reduce some questions that you can ask yourself. Maybe you've got some questions you want to ask me. But hopefully it's just given you some food for thought and hopefully made you just think, well, do I do this? If I do this, why do I do it? Is it a lack of knowledge? Is it a lack of experience? Is it just, I think I know it all and I don't need to take my time up decisions? Whatever it is, taking your time more will almost certainly benefit your game in some way or other but um, i think we'll leave it there that's all for now um hopefully i'll be back with another video pretty soon maybe next week sometime talking about some more of the common leaks that i often spot when working with struggling microstakes players for the first time bye for now